All right, today we're going to be reviewing a soda stream. Now, I know there was probably <laughs> at least one person out there that wanted me to review a soda stream, so if that person's you, here's your video. First of all, let's talk about uh, price. So this machine right here is $80, and for $80 you get this, you get a tank of gas, and you get one bottle. So you get a good amount of stuff for $80. They also have this one. I think there's just this one and one other machine. The other one, the difference is this one's obviously the cheap like base model, and and this one just has a just has one button that you use to carbonate your water. Where the other one is completely electric and it has like different buttons for different carbonation levels and all that kind of stuff. So it's a little fancier. This one's 80, I think the other one is like 140 or 150, something like that. They both function the same and do the same thing. So SodaStream also sells their own uh, syrups. So like I have the Coke version here, you can also get Mountain Dew, Sprite, root beer, pretty much anything, pretty much anything that you wanna drink, you can get a syrup for it from SodaStream. I'm sure that a lot of you are thinking the same way I was, the, since you can make your own, like in this case, Coke, since you can make your own Coke with all of this stuff, is this gonna be cheaper than just going out and buying Coke? The answer is no, <laughs> unfortunately. It turns, so I crunched all the numbers and what it comes down to is the SodaStream is two cents more expensive per 12 ounce serving. It's just a little bit more expensive. It's just two cents. If you if you drink Coke, say every day, and you switch over to SodaStream, and you're now you're making your own Coke every single day, that uh, that two cents. If you're drinking it, say say you're drinking ten cans a day, that two cents per twelve ounce serving is gonna add up over like three or four years. That'll be hundreds hundreds of dollars. So there's kind of a, a give and a take there. Yes, it's gonna be more expensive to make it yourself. But on the other hand, you also get a lot of flexibility because you can you can decide how much syrup you put in, so you, you can decide how sweet it is. If it's sweeter, not as sweet, you can decide how much carbonation you're putting in, add your own flavor or whatever to it. So there's a lot of customization you get for two cents, but in the long term, I think it would add up to too much to really make it worth it. But I'm not really here to see if it's worth it long term or not. We're just here to see if it works. So. First thing I'll do is I'll show you guys how to put it together. It's very, it couldn't be any simpler. You have your uh, canister of CO2. Take the lid off the back and then literally just drop this in here like that and just screw the canister in. Then you put the back back on. And then, you're good to go. This is the, I think I should do this with the bottle that comes with it. This bottle just slides up in here and then locks into place. So what I'm gonna do is we are going to, I have some regular Coke here. We are going to make our own Coke and then of course compare it to regular Coke and see how the two compare. I'm getting way ahead of myself. I don't think I said this in the beginning. This is kind of be, going to be kind of like a two-part video. We're going to do, I'm doing one part, you know, kind of did a review of this, use it for what it's made for and test it against a real product. And then I'm going to carbonate a bunch of just random stuff and, and see how, the, how it comes out. So the process is very simple. You just basically carbonate it to your liking. The only thing I don't like is there's not like a, like you don't have a, a gauge of carbonation. So you just have to push the button and then just like look at it and see if it's, See if you think it's carbonated to your liking. So. I've kind of I've kind of messed around with this a little bit. And it seems to me that whenever the whenever you start getting a lot of bubbles sticking to the side, almost kind of like what it's doing now, that right there kind of seems to be when it's done. And when it has enough carbonation. Now see how we're getting a lot of the bubbles. I like to do it in slow bursts. I 
I think we might be getting there. Now I think we're getting there. So we're just gonna lift this off. We can do the true test this way. Put the cap on, move it around, and then, yeah, I think we're ready. So the syrup bottle, the lid of it, you can see how big the lid is. The lid is its own measuring cup. And then on the inside, it's, or maybe on the outside, it gives you lines for like, how much you should normally put, if, and then how much if you want it sweeter, or not as sweet, or whatever. I'm gonna go to the middle line. I can't even hardly see it. Because the middle line is supposed to replicate just like a classic Coke. You just pour it in here. And that's pretty much it. Put the lid on. And you're supposed to gently kind of just gently shake it around, get the syrup all mixed up in there. Okay, let's see if it's got that. Ooh, I think it's gonna be pretty good. So now we need to compare them. So we're gonna compare the pour and the taste. We'll start with the classic. Exactly what you would expect. Very fizzy, classic Coke pour. After seeing how carbonated that was, I'm not sure if this is gonna be carbon if this is carbonated enough. So now let's compare. Actually, that's not bad. That doesn't look far off from regular Coke. The real test. Let's see. Okay, tastes like normal Coke. That's, that's really close. That's really, really, really close. Okay, the carbonation, I got the carbonation almost exactly perfect. It's almost it's basically identical between these two. The difference that I notice, this is about 90% of what this is. This is only about 10% better. And I can, I can tell you exactly why. This cola syrup only has 15 grams of sugar and then the rest of the sugar is a sugar substitute. And then regular Coke, it has a lot. Uh, yeah, it has 39 grams of sugar per serving. So I can taste that whatever whatever it is they use as an extra sweetener, I can taste that, that difference. Although it's, it's very slight, but I can definitely taste it. Whatever the artificial sweetener is, I can, I can taste it in here. But like I said, it's not super, super strong, but I can definitely tell that it's in there. If I was like at a restaurant or something somewhere and somebody brought me this instead of this, I don't think I'd be able to tell the difference. Honestly, I don't think I would pay that close attention. I think the only reason that I can taste the, that slight difference is because I'm, I know that I'm comparing the two, but it's good. So that's, so far that's a win. All right, so now that, now that the review part of the video is over, we can get to the part I've been waiting for and the fun part, we're just gonna carbonate some random stuff and just see what happens. Now, this first one that I'm gonna carbonate, I know a lot of you are probably gonna see it and be like a little like, oh, that's gross, why would you do that, blah, 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 but I just, I just want you to just hear me out, all right? Just, just hear me out. We're gonna carbonate some milk, okay? I know a lot of you are cringing right now, but just, just think about it. Take a, take a little, creativity ride with me for a minute and just imagine you're drinking a nice cold glass of milk but it's carbonated so it's milk but it's a little bubbly doesn't doesn't that sound awesome i think so i might be sadly mistaken here in a minute let's fill this bad boy up right there to the line 
I, I should also say that before I start doing all of this stuff, right here there's a sticker on the back of this thing that says to carbonate only water. And it's in bold print. So I guess we'll see how true that warning is. I wonder how, how milk's gonna handle carbonation. Ooh. I didn't think about this. Just like I don't think about a lot of things. Mmm. Let's empty about half. Maybe not half. Maybe about that much of the milk out. Because it's going to bubble real bad. Oh. No. Should have known that was going to happen. Well, we're already here. Might as well send it. I should have pretended like that didn't happen. Okay. I mean, that looks pretty carbonated to me. Let's see if it pours any different. It's a little more bubbly. It pours out like it's chunky or something. That's odd. That's not something that I anticipated. That's so bad. Is this milk bad or is this? No, the milk's not bad. I think what's going on here. Okay, for one, it is carbonated. The, the texture of it being carbonated isn't what's bad. What's bad is that it now has a soda water flavor, but with milk. Like a real, like, chemical flavor. Really, really bad. Yeah, it's got like a, it's like a, it's got the, like the spiciness of the carbonation, but with a, the nasty soda water flavor milk all mixed together and it's, it's no good. I didn't know, whenever I was thinking about this, I didn't think about adding, it would, about, I didn't think about this adding the carb, like the soda water flavor to it. I just thought about bubbly milk, which just bubbly milk doesn't sound bad. Soda water milk does sound really bad. So that was, that was a complete fail. That was 100% not what I thought it was going to be. Well, now that I've been brought back down to reality, <laughs> let's go ahead and let's try something that might actually taste good. Let's go for some apple juice. Maybe the sweetness of the apple juice will offset the nastiness of the carbonation. And just for reference, the this apple juice has 28 grams of sugar, almost as much as Coke. So I'm gonna say that the sugar probably is gonna offset that nasty soda water flavor. Let's see what happens. Oh, that might work pretty good. Oh, is it soaking up carbonation faster than the water? Is that what's happening here? It's cool how whenever it shoots the carbonation in there, you see like the cloud come down and it kind of like dissipates. Okay. That might be, actually it might be a little bit too much. Let's see what it does whenever you pour it out. That didn't really act carbonated hardly at all. Let it build up for a minute. Huh, I don't think it's as carbonated as I thought. Huh. That's a little bit carbonated, but that is, that is not as carbonated as it needs to be. So let's top this thing back off. Now let's really give it the juice. Oh, we don't wanna, we don't, we don't wanna repeat what happened last time. Don't come out of the top. 
Just stay where you're at. I don't think you can kind of like force it in like I did with the water. I think you've got to, oh, come on. Really? Man, me and carbonation. We are just not getting along. At least we know it's carbonated. Let's go ahead and pour it out into a cup. It kind of looks a little bit of the same, but maybe it'll taste different. I got apple juice all over the place. That's that's unique. That soda water flavor is not there, but it's just like bubbly apple juice. That's actually really good. If I was an apple juice drinker, I would probably prefer to drink my apple juice that way because that that definitely adds something that you don't normally get with apple juice. So that that is a win. That is way better than milk. All right, this this video is getting way messier than I ever thought it would be. I thought I would just be putting this stuff in the bottle, carbonate it, taste it, and then go on to the next one. I didn't know it was gonna like explode with every single one. So let's move on to the best orange drink known to man, Sunny D. I really hope this one doesn't explode all over the place. Oh, you know what? It's a little over the line. Old darn, I gotta drink some. There we go. All right, please don't explode all over the place. Please. Oh, this actually doesn't look like it's gonna explode. Oh, maybe it is. Please don't. Please don't, I just need you to be carbonated. Oh, I think, that, I think the bubbles are gonna pop before they come out of the top. Please don't, but stick, oh, here we go. I guess this, like these juices and stuff, I guess they expand whenever they get carbonated or something and water doesn't. Cause they're, they, every single one of them is doing this nonsense. about like a good portion. It's so foamy. Uh, that is, carbonating this adds a lot to it. It's, it's also, it feels like, I don't even know if this is possible. To me, like whenever I was drinking the Coke, the bubbles, feels, it feels like it's big bubbles. This feels like it's small bubbles if it's even possible, if you can taste a difference in the size of the bubble when you carbonate something. It's so strange, but it's so good. And it's not a lot of carbonation. It's just a, a little bit, just enough to add just a little bit extra. Let me see if I can, now that I don't have that out, see if I can get it like really carbonated. Well, that seems like that was really good. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay. These are all gonna be a mess. Every single one of these. Oh, you see how carbonated that is? Watch whenever I pour that in. That's even better. That's better than before. The only thing that sucks is that you can't hardly carbonate it because it expands so much, it just spews all over the place. And it's a, it's, it's a disaster. Easily twice as good being carbonated. And it doesn't have that, uh, that nasty like soda water flavor that the milk had. That's another win. Besides it being a complete mess, that's a win. All right, the final thing that I'm gonna try to carbonate. And if this works, this could be revolutionary. Applesauce. Just just think about it. You're eating applesauce, but instead of instead of just regular applesauce, it has a, a little a little spiciness to it. A little some bubbles to it. Doesn't doesn't that sound awesome? If this works, this is this is gonna be awesome. I have 
Also, I didn't realize that I picked up two different types of applesauce. One is unsweetened and one is apple, one is uh, cinnamon flavored, which is this one. So I'm hoping that this fills up this and I don't have to use the unsweetened because who wants unsweetened, unsweetened applesauce? How am I supposed to get this into that? Good news, I solved the problem. And it's almost, it's almost like it was made for it. It just fits right in there just like a glove. Now let's hope this applesauce is runny enough that it'll just run down into the bottle. Oh, look at that. It's going right in there, just like it should. Oh, I think it's gonna be just enough too. I think it's gonna fill it up right to the line. I'm also going to empty it out a little bit less than you probably should whenever you're carbonating something, just because I don't want applesauce to spew all over the place. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if we can carbonate applesauce. Might be a little bit too thick. Pour that into a cup. Let's see if it. Oh, it's definitely carbonated. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but I can see that it's it's bubbly for sure. Oh, that actually might be kind of good. I don't know how to describe that. That is a that, that is a very unique experience. It kind of reminds me of Pop Rocks because it doesn't because you're not obviously you're not drinking it like a liquid, but whenever it sits on your tongue, you kind of feel the carbonation kind of just like buzzing on your tongue a little bit. It's pretty good. I think it's a little bit better than just regular applesauce to be honest. And another weird thing, it's not evenly carbonated. There's pockets of more carbonation because I just got one like I just and there's a little clump that went in my mouth that was way more carbonated than what I had tasted before and it was still pretty good that's so weird I guess where it's so thick it can't carbonate all the way down to the bottom maybe but that, that is actually good that's that is another win I guess there's just a lot of things that are better with carbonation than without carbonation or a lot of things that get really enhanced by being carbonated. I'm gonna patent that idea. I'm gonna sell carbonated applesauce. Tyler Tube, carbonated applesauce. I'm gonna be a billionaire. Well guys, I guess that's the end. Thank you for joining me on my carbonation extravaganza. If there's any other products that you wanna see me review, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.